Good evening, folks. This is a special edition vlog. And uh, I had an opportunity to see Colquitt County twice this year in person and Buford once uh, this year in person. Both of these teams, as you know, are on the same side of the playoff bracket. Uh, therefore, if both of these teams were to meet, they would have to win the next three rounds. Uh, and then they'll be able to play each other in the semifinals. Uh, Buford, as you know, is a North Georgia powerhouse and they have won 14 state championships. Uh, Colquitt County is a South Georgia powerhouse and they won three state championships in football, of course. Um, I will attempt to do a uh, matchup breakdown for each team. So let's get started. Let's look at the O-line and defensive line. Colquitt County returns uh, a couple of season uh, offensive linemen, uh, Keyshawn Palmore and Jaquavian Daniels. Overall, Colquitt County's offensive line has good size and they, they do a good job blocking. However, Buford's defensive line is very talented and very deep. Um, some of their uh, linemen, uh, defensive linemen are Aiden Jeter, uh, King Joseph El uh, Edwards, excuse me, Nico Magulo, Elijah Williams, and uh, Eric Houston. In my opinion, the uh, Colquitt O-line will have a difficult time blocking this rotating Buford defensive line late in the game. Buford has a massive O-line and they returned four starters from last year. Um, Paul uh, Mumbinga, Ian Kendler, Wiles McCammon, and Pierce DeMarco. This is the strength of their offense. Colquitt County's defensive line is moderate in size, but they're very quick. Colquitt County's defensive line includes Kamal Collins, who can play both on offense and defensive lines. In my opinion, Buford's big old line will wear down Coca County's smaller D line late in the game. Coca County has some real good receivers in Landon Thomas at tight end and a key wide receiver, Carr. Landon does a good job of blocking and catching the ball. It should give Buford secondary fits with his size advantage and Carr is an explosive wide receiver that will test a Buford secondary. Buford has a talented secondary with the likes of Kobe Bolden, Deshaun White, Cole Taylor, Jordan Allen, Sam Harkness. Buford's defensive backs possess talent and will challenge Colquitt's receivers. Buford has a stable of receivers that are talented and they are KJ Bolden, Deshaun uh, White, Jordan Allen, Devin Williams, Eric Houston is the talented tight end for them. Coca County has a good secondary and will challenge Buford's talented receiving core. Buford had to replace their linebacking core with Traylon Maddox, Justin Baker, Jaden Perlow, Kenan Golden, Jack Damrod, Ryan McKinnis and Bryson Banks. Coca County's linebacking core consists of talented players like Kamal Bonner and Davion Hunt. Coca County has very quick linebackers and they deliver punishing hits. In my opinion, Coca County's linebacking core is more experienced than Buford. Coca County's offensive backs are very talented with the likes of running back Charlie Pace and quarterback Nico Fan. Pace is a good blend of speed and power. Quite frankly, he's hard to get to the ground. Nico is a good passer and runner, and he does a great job of running the offense. Buford's offensive backs are outstanding, with the likes of running back Justice Haynes. In my opinion, he's the best running back in the state of Georgia. He's backed up by a stable of running backs, such as Charlene Maddox, Justin Baker, Colby Blackwell. Buford's quarterback is Dylan Wickey, who can throw it very well, as well as he can run it when he has to. He's a quarterback with great length, so he's not easy to take to the ground. Both teams are coached by great coaches in Coach Calhoun and Coach Appling. Coach Calhoun has returned to Coca County 
to lead his team to an undefeated season thus far. He made his team definitely very, very fundamentally sound that executes on a high level. On the other hand, Coach Applin has won several state championships for Buford. And uh, he's a coach that can really, really coach very well under extreme adverse conditions, like he did in the Lee County and Lexington Youth Championship games. Therefore, I'm giving Buford the edge in this matchup. But we'll see. That's why they play it on the field. Thank you very much. If you like what you see, subscribe to Morel Productions. Until next time, take care and God bless. Oh, and please stay safe. Take me to your football game.